In this video, we're going to talk about everything you need during the negotiation of the letter of intent. So first off, I want to say you really want to stick to your original offer as much as possible. Maybe you want to change your time frame, such as you know reducing the due diligence time or reducing the time to close to make it more appealing, or even you know increasing your earnest money um, or having additional earnest money if there is an um, extension that's required. Or sometimes now, what you see a lot is you have hard money from day one. You know, really make the seller feel like he or she has won something by adding those other things but keeping your price the same, right? You also want to explain to the broker that your original offer was at a well-educated and a research price. The reason why I say this is because we've already done all the things that we did during a property walk, right? We've identified all those areas and everything like that so you can avoid a retrade, right? So just explain that, hey, it's very well educated, it's a very well researched price. And then next you want to really, you want to engage with your real estate attorney to, uh, to kind of prime them that, hey, a PSA is likely coming their way and it's in the pipeline. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is ask your lender what vendors are preferred. And this came up for us because when the seller asked what title company we wanted to go with, we just were like, oh, you can choose, it's not a big deal. But then when it came to our agency lender, he was like, oh no, like you actually went with a non-approved title company. So you just wanna avoid paying fees, extra fees if you don't have to. And then the final thing is engage with your insurance broker at the execution of the LOI just so that he or she can start to get those quotes coming in so that you know your insurance price per door sooner rather than later. Absolutely. And that wraps up everything you want to do during negotiation of the LOI.